Hello class, this is section 1.4 and in this video we are going to discuss steady state solutions. These are also known as equilibrium solutions. Now what these are, are that these are solutions that don't vary with time, that stay the same throughout time. Now uh, the reason we're starting with this is that the heat equation is a pretty hard equation to solve completely. So in the first few weeks we are just going to deal with special types of solutions. So when we say that an equation is steady state or when, it's, when we say that it doesn't vary with time, what we mean of course is that we make the assumption that partial u partial t equals zero for all t and all x. When this condition is met, we say that u is steady state or equilibrium. Here's the reason why these solutions are important. Now imagine he, our, our iron rod and imagine heat flowing through the iron rod. Now it makes sense that if we leave the iron rod alone for a long time, eventually the temperature will settle down. And so through physical intuition, we expect that while our temperature might vary like crazy in the beginning, eventually it should settle toward some kind of solution that doesn't vary through time. You know, we don't expect the temperature to keep changing forever if the boundary conditions are the same throughout all time. So this is the reason why we expect our solution to tend towards steady state solutions. Now, that isn't always true, but here, that is why these solutions are important, even though they tend to be simpler than a lot of the other things we're going to do in this course. Well, let's figure out how to find the steady state solution. We take our assumption and we plug it in to our heat equation problem. So we have k partial u squared partial x squared equals partial u partial t. But we know that the derivative with respect to t of u is 0. So this becomes 0, and we can divide both sides by k, uh, since k is never 0. So you end up with the, second, the partial derivative of u equals 0. Now, um, let's simplify things a little bit. Since we know that u does not depend on t, it's a function purely of x, we can write this down as a regular differential equation instead. So dux dx squared equals 0. So the second derivative of u equals 0. This is just a very straightforward differential equation. And we can of course integrate twice to solve it, to find the general solution. We integrate once and we get that dux dx equals the integral of 0 dx. The integral of 0 dx is going to be 0 plus a, a constant. And when we integrate again, we get that ux is equal to integral of a dx, and this is of course equal to ax plus b. So in this case, um, our steady state solutions will almost always look like this, ax u equals ax plus b. So let's think about how to solve a steady state problem given boundary conditions. So let's look at this problem. We consider an iron rod with boundary condition u 0t equals minus 5 Celsius and u 10t equals 20 Celsius. So the left end of the rod is minus 5 degrees, set at minus 5 degrees, and the right end of the rod is set at 20 degrees for all time. And we're asked to find the steady state solution. So how we do this is that we already know that our steady state solution is going to be of the form ax plus b, and all that remains to do is to figure out what a and b are, which we can find really easily by plugging in the boundary conditions. So we know that u0 is minus 5, so we plug that in, so we get u0t equals, this is minus 5, but it's also equal, plugging this in, to a times 0 plus b. So this is equal to b, which implies that b is minus 5. Now let's plug in the other boundary condition, 
which is u of 10t equals 20. When we plug that in, we get u of 10t is equal to 20, but it's also equal to a times 10 plus b. So 10a, and we know that b is uh, minus 5, so 10a minus 5. So we know now that 20 is equal to 10a minus 5, which allows us to solve for a. So 10a is equal to 25, a equals 2.5. This means that our steady state solution is going to be u of xt equals a is 2.5, so 2.5 x minus 5. Now it's always good to do a little sanity check with this to figure out if uh, we have the right solution. I, I encourage you to do this for every word problem that you try to solve. So let's first check if we do indeed have a steady state solution. So given the solution, is it true that partial u partial t equals 0? And since there aren't any t variables in this equation in this um, expression, in this function. You can see this is obviously correct, that this is a steady state solution. Let's also check the first boundary value. Um, we have that the left boundary, u0t is minus 5. So u0t is equal to minus 5. So we plug in 0 here in our equation. We do get minus 5, so this also works. And let's check the right boundary condition. We have u zero t u sorry, you have u ten t equals twenty. U ten t equals twenty. If we plug in ten for our solution, and we get that u equals twenty five minus five, which is equal to twenty. So that also checks out. And lastly, uh, let's check if we actually satisfy the heat equation way out here. So we, we need to solve partial u partial t equals k partial u partial x squared. But again, partial u partial t is equal to 0. So we end up just having to solve um, partial squared u partial x squared equals 0. And we see that 2.5x minus 5 is only a linear equation. So if we differentiate it twice with respect to x, we do get 0. So this also works. And we can conclude that our solution, uxt equals 2.5x minus 5, is indeed the correct solution for this problem. Now let's investigate what our solution means for our iron rod. So we're going to sketch a temperature profile of this rod. And we know that the left end of the rod at zero is going to be minus five degrees Celsius and that the right end is going to be 20 degrees Celsius and that our solution, our steady state solution, is going to be a straight line 2.5x two, 2 minus five. So we can draw it like so. Whoops. Uh, yeah, here you go. And let's think about whether this makes sense. So we have a rod and we know that as time goes on eventually what will happen is that the temperature will increase going from the left side of the rod to the right side, and it will decrease in linear fashion. And that sounds like a sensible thing for the heat, the, the temperature profile to do. So this is typically how steady state solution look, solutions look like. They look like straight lines. And I think if you think about it a little bit, the physics does make intuitive sense. 